Hi, this is Charlie, and I'm going to run through the sort of, some sort of typical mistakes that traders can make, um, and why, therefore, it can take time for a trader to develop into a longer-term successful uh, trader. Why they have bumps in the road. Um, and why it just takes time to develop as a trader. I've had so many people with inquiries coming in over the past week um, about from newer traders wanting to learn and um, and, and get into trading. And like we always say it, it's not something you can be learnt or taught or, or learnt overnight. It takes time. Why? Partly because psychologically it takes time to develop as a trader. Um, it's not something you can just pick up, learn a few strategies and away you go. Um, obviously you've got to start somewhere and yes you need strategies and, and to be taught how to trade but there are certain trader traits um, and psychological um, facets of trading that can um, act as a limiting factor shall we say. So let's go through one example. And one example could be um, Let's actually draw an equity curve on first of all. So let's draw, here's an equity curve, which is essentially obviously going sideways. So a P&L of your equity. You have periods where your equity rises as you're making money and periods where your equity falls, where you're not making any money, you're losing money. Um, but overall, you're effectively going sideways. So why is that? So what, here's one, a typical sort of trader mistake could be... Um, something like uh, okay so you're in, you're trading in the afternoon let's say you've had um, a losing uh, you're on a losing day so far but it's only a small losing day maybe you've had one losing trade and then you get into the afternoon and you think oh do you know what I'm gonna take that next trade so this one here I'm gonna take that next trade um, it's m late afternoon but I'm just going for it and then all of a sudden that one becomes a loser um, and you think, oh damn, why did I do that? Okay, but oh no, now this, my losing day is becoming a bigger losing day. I've got to make that back. So then all of a sudden it's now six o'clock in the evening, let's say, and you've been at it all day. And then you take another trade and that one becomes a loser. And then you get frustrated and you, and you, and you trade bigger. And um, so you take bigger and bigger and you take another one and that one becomes a loser. And before you know it, you've taken uh, numerous trades, well, maybe with one, one little winner in there, but um, a number of losers. And all of a sudden, what's happened, if I draw the equity back on again, what you've just been doing over the last month, two months, has been going really well, and then it pulls all the way back um, very very quickly, sometimes in the space of a day or two days. Um, by making that mistake of just over-trading, getting a bit overly aggressive, and um, or just trading just on a whim, thinking, I've got to make this back, I've got to make this back, and all of a sudden, that's what you've done. And then you feel the pain of that, you... You know, you kick yourself, and then it takes some time, and then gradually you start making some money again because you made that big mistake. And over a period of months, it might be um, the your equity is going back up again. Then you get overconfident again. You have maybe a small losing day, or maybe it's a small winning day, and then you take that extra trade at the end of the day again. And before you know it, boom! You've just taken five trades, and and you and your account balance has just pulled back again. This it's that sort of mistake because what happens psychologically is that. Um, we forget, we forget very quickly um, our mistakes of the past and we think it won't happen to us again and so several months down the line we, we create we, we, we create the same mistake again, we follow the same pattern again if, if I'm just giving you one example here of a type of trader uh, trait, not everybody is um, susceptible to this sort of trade but it could be something else, it could be that they, they, have, they trade really well um, and then because they're doing well they actually start to tighten up so after a period of months and actually as a result of tightening up they just start getting scared because they want the they want the P&L to keep on going higher but they're getting scared um, of, of, of it not and actually what happens is it does in fact come down because they start tightening their stops too tight and then get needlessly stopped out and so there's all sorts of different things that can happen and and yet whilst they're in this nice period everything seems to flow and work well so um, but a trader needs to almost experience these mistakes at least twice in order to learn from them and that's the sort of thing that that traders will go through um, making a mistake and then repeating that mistake over a period of time um, you won't do it again the following day or the day after necessarily you'll learn very quickly but after a period of time you're susceptible to repeating that mistake because we very quickly forget and until we've done it a few times and we it really goes in then and we think oh, yeah, I'm never going to do this again and you're unlikely to or at least it only to happen very rarely and then not to affect you in the same way so um, just a typical sort of mistakes there and I just thought I'd share those with you um, because as to why just one reason why um, it can take a trader a long time to develop um, 
uh, or certainly they need to have experienced different types of cycles whether it be market cycles or P&L cycles as well and experience trading through different types of P&L cycles when you're doing well when you're not doing well and how you trade out, out you know the other side of those cycles so hopefully that's given you some food for thought for today and I'll leave that with you and I'll personally be seeing you on Friday <laughs>